Hello, this is Reggie Dentmore with LearnMMD.com. I'd like to show you how to use Audacity software for Miku Miku Dance users. Audacity is a powerful audio editing software with tons of features, but MMDers only need to use a few, and I'd like to show you the ones that I use. If you go to LearnMMD.com, you can go to the Downloads page and find the link to Audacity software. You want to get the latest version. I just downloaded my own. Uh, version 2.0.5 that was new in October of 2013. What we're going to do this evening is import an MP3 and add some applause to it. The uh, basic Audacity window has the basic controls here. We've got pause, play, stop, move to the beginning, move to the end, and record. There's a volume control for your microphone. There's a magnifying glasses here, plus and minus, that uh, enlarge and reduce your view. Those are the basic controls you'll want to do. Uh, we're going to import an MP3. You'd think you'd want to open the file, but Audacity saves its own files in its own format, and you can use open and close uh, to open those files. When you want to put music into your software, you import. So we're going to import audio. And when you're done, you're going to export to a WAV file or whatever format that you'd like. I'm going to go to the desktop. You can see my desktop has got all kinds of stuff here. I'm only looking for an MP3, so we can filter that by making a selection here. There's MP3s. And on my desktop, I've only got one. It's Sleigh Ride by Karen Carpenter from their Christmas Portrait album. I have that as an LP on a and Records, and I... Uh, created an mp3 of it a while back using Audacity software, I think. So I'm going to open that. Older versions of Audacity required a plug-in to bring in an mp3. You might get that message, and if so, the instructions are there. Just follow the instructions to get that plug-in. And there it is. We'll be able to see the song. We we'll push play, and we'll hear it. The recording I made is a little bit quieter than I would have liked. Just hear those but there it is. Ring, ting, 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 you can see it goes for three and a half minutes. We don't want to make it be that long, so I'm going to stop it there. And down here somewhere, there's a good place. Let's just push play from there. Right together with you. Yeah, right there at that chomp. So I'm going to put my cursor there and use the magnifying glass to make the view bigger. Now it can be really accurate, so let's try it from here. The forest lay right together with you. There we go. So we can just chop it off right there. I'm going to push and drag to select the whole rest of the song. Then I'll be able to just push the delete key and all this stuff will be gone. That's a long song. There we go. No? Come on, let's go. I made the view too big. That's all right, we'll get there. There we are, the end of the song. So now I push delete, and it's gone. We'll drag back. I'll just make it smaller again here. And then come back down. There we go. So that's all the song we got left. Try it out. Right together with A little chopped, but okay. You can edit and undo if you want to undo something. So then we get the song back and you could rework it to get exactly what you want. But there we go. Now I'm going to import the applause track that I wanted. And go to the beginning. Come on, you. There you are. File. Import. Audio. I'm going to search for all files again, because I know these are different. On my desktop, I have a folder of Reggie's Applause. You can download Reggie's Applause from the 0to450.com website. That's 0-to-450. You can find a button for it on the top of learnmmd.com. So let me find the folder here with Applause. There we go. Reggie's Applause. And inside there, there's an 8-second applause and a 15-second. So I'm going to go with the 15. 
Audacity will ask you, do you want to make a copy of the file before you edit or just edit the file? I always let it make a copy so that you're not endangering your original file. There's the applause and you can see right off it's quite a bit louder than the rest of the show here. Let's listen to it. Yeah, really loud. So what we're going to do is lower the volume on it. You select it by dragging, go to the effect, and amplify, and pick some number. Let's tune it down a little bit. Let's try there. And preview. Still sounds kind of loud compared to the original music. I'm going to go down a little further. Call it 16.6. I'll say OK. I can watch it do its magic there. There we go. Now it's quieter. So I'll go to the beginning and push play. Sounds about right. The applause goes on and on and on, doesn't it? So a couple of ways to deal with it. One of them would be to simply chop this off and delete it. Now the applause is shorter. Let's hear what it sounds like there. <laughs> it cuts off rather unnaturally, but we can fix that too. We'll select just the part we want to have fade out, and then we'll make it fade out using the effect. Let's fade in and fade out. Now if we play through that section, it should sound fine. Yeah, that's just fine. I'm going to push stop. Another way we could have done that is to use cut and paste. We're going to go ahead and cut the original fade off of here. And then we'll control X to put to cut it into memory. So now it's on the clipboard. We will make the applause a little bit shorter and delete that. come over here right to the end and control V to paste that from the clipboard and there we have it. Let's hear what that sounds like. Oh, just fine. So you can chop and cut and paste to make what you want. I'm going to add a I'm going to add some white space at the beginning of the song, actually, because right now the song starts about the same time as the applause. I'd like the applause to rev up before the band gets started, so I'm going to insert some space right there just by clicking to place the cursor. Then we're going to generate silence. And there's 00, zero hours, 00, zero minutes, and 2.00 zero zero seconds. 2 seconds is fine. I'm going to say OK. So there, it added two seconds of white space, essentially, of silence before the song starts. So if we crank to the beginning and push play, the applause starts, and then the music. Wow, that's nice. Okay. Now we're going to add some applause at the end by just copy-pasting that thing. Control C to copy. We'll come out here where we want to start it. That's good. And Control V to paste it. And let's hear what the ending sounds like. There we go. Pretty nice. Now we're going to be, we'll assume we're finished. So we can go ahead and put those tracks together. We'll control A to select all the tracks. And then under tracks, there's mix and render. So mix and render blends everything together into a single soundtrack.
cool. Now we're ready to try it out. Looks like it worked just fine. So again, when we're ready to output, ready to save our file, we don't actually save. We don't want to save the project, we just want to export the music. So export. This WAV Microsoft 16-bit PCM is the standard WAV format. We'll go ahead and save. It says I already have that file before. Yep, I have done it before. But replace it? Yes. When you save, you have these places that you can fill it in to get the name of the song, all the data that goes along with it. Say OK. And you're done. It's saved as a WAV file on my desktop in this case. Now if you wanted to save the project, you could save the project. You normally would undo the mix and render first so that what you're saving has all the bits and pieces available to you so you can still move them around. File, close. Save. I don't want to save it, so no. There you go. That's an intro to Audacity software for Miku Miku Dance users. Be sure to check out LearnMMD.com for the latest on Miku Miku Dance news. Appreciate it. Bye-bye.